In today's video, we're going to learn how to install LUT and also with some practical examples on how to go about it using LUT in CapCut PC. All right, guys, let's get started. And today's video is sponsored by my homies on Patreon. Thanks so much, guys, for the support. So when you open CapCut PC, go to Adjustment, click on that, then click on LUT. If you don't have any lot installed already, it's gonna have only import on this very side. Then click on that very import, and then it's gonna direct you to wherever you have it saved. So this is the lot that I have. All these ones are lots already saved in a folder. I wanna import one of these, so I'm just gonna click on Vision X, and then click on Open, and it's gonna come right on this very side. So this is Vision X. So this is a video I recorded earlier on. I'm gonna provide you guys with all these videos. So then go to adjustment and then click on lots. And these are all the lots over here. Now when you scroll through, you can see it previews the lots, how it's gonna look like when you look at this preview session. So when I scroll through it, you can see how it's gonna look like when I apply this very lot. So let's say if I'm happy with this and I wanna use this very lot, I'm just gonna drag it and drop it on top of that very video and make it the same length as the video for now. From here, you can just click on that very adjustment, go to the right side, and over there, you can dial down the intensity of that very lot. Now let me take it back to 100 and delete this adjustment layer. Also, when you click on the video itself, you can get access to the lot on the right side. Just click on adjustment, and then you can see on basic, you have lot. Just click on this drop down menu and it's going to give you all the lots you already have installed on this very or on your machine or in CapCut PC. So here too, you can easily preview all the lots before you add it to the video you want to use. So this, let's say if I want to use this very one, I can just click on that and it's going to apply it to this very video. Then on intensity i can also dial it down if it's too strong for me and then later on i can do the necessary contrast or the exposure to this very video so you can find different kinds of lots out there but the first we're going to look at is conversion lot this is mostly provided by the camera manufacturers that if you're using panasonic sony ari red or all those kind of cameras you're going to have that on somewhere on their website or on online and i've been able to gather all of them i'll be leaving it down there below you can download and have it in case you have some camera and you want to convert the lot so with this it's just going to convert your log footage or your flat footage into a rec on nine color space in the timeline is a footage i shot with my panasonic gh5 i'm going to provide you guys with this very one too so you can practice your hands on it so with this i'm just going to go to adjustment on lot and i'm going to search for a log footage and with this it is shot in vlog so mostly it's going to be vlog to rec 709 and this is it as you can see vlog to rec 709 i'm just going to drag and drop on it let me stretch and make it the same length as this. So right there, you can see it converts the footage straight into a 709 color space. And with the conversion lot, it's not always accurate. So it is recommended that you know how to do it manually when it comes to color correction. The other kinds of lot is the creative lot or the film lock. This is really popular in the famous one that everyone knows. It looks like the Instagram filter, but this time around, it's the pro version. So in the timeline, this is my footage already converted into color. Rec 709. So now if I want to add a look to it, I'm just going to scroll through it and see how it looks like. So these are all creative lot or the style lot that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to scroll through it and see if I like one of them that I want to use. So I like this one. So I'm just going to drag it and drop it on top of it. So also with this, you can dial down the intensity if it's too strong for you. But with this creative lot, sometimes it comes in the form of Rec. 709 and also in a log format. I'm going to show you guys. So let me just delete these two and just disable them by pressing V. So this is log profile picture and this is shot in a standard profile picture. So you can see this looks flat and this has all the contrast and the colors already dialed in. So I'm just gonna go to adjustment and show you guys. 
So these are all creative lots. And when you look carefully, some of them are log and some of them are rec 709. So let's say if this log, I don't want to do any adjustment and I just want to have the look dialed in straight to it, I can choose the log format and it's going to give me that look. Let me drop it in on top of it and show you guys. So this is a log creative lot and it's meant for a log footage as you can see right on the down. Now let me just stretch it so it will go on top of this very standard profile. You can see it looks so strong. It was not meant for this Rec 709 footage. So mostly when you download the creative log, it's gonna come with a PDF file showing you if it's meant for a log footage or if it's meant for a Rec 709 footage. Let me drag this. And now these are the same creative style lots. So I'm just gonna drag this on top of this very one and stretch it. So you can see this was meant for log and this was meant for a standard profile and they are all creative lots. So with this, I can just dial it down a little bit if it's too strong. So this video is gonna be needed in a tutorial I'll be doing very soon when it comes to color grading. All right guys, catch you in the next one. Peace.